Okay, so you have copied and named and saved your uh, weekly portfolio, you shared it with your teacher, let's look at how to find it. Now, if you did all those steps, it will be in your Slides app. So you need to open your Slides app and you should see it at the top. I have a lot of uh, slides, but you will probably just have one. Make sure that you're choosing the right one. It should have your name and your ID and your section number on it. And you can just tap to open it. Now I've got it open and I can see at the bottom all of the slides. We made all these slides for you. You don't need to create anything in here. Really, you're just going to be adding text and adding images. So if we're looking at the slideshow like this, this is in edit mode, so I can edit things. If I want to just look at it as a presentation, I can click the arrow at the top, present on this device. And now I can see what it looks like in presentation mode. The arrow works to go to the next page. And all the little buttons there also work. So if you click intro, it will take you to the intro and then arrows through that section. And week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven. At the end, there's a good example with comments that shows you why it's good and a bad example with comments that shows you why it's bad. And this will help you complete this. So you want to edit this now. Right now we're in presentation mode, but to edit, you can tap on your screen and click that X. That will take you back to edit mode. So let's go back to the beginning so we can look at the beginning. And we can click on the slides at the bottom to navigate through, or you can just scroll through like this. Let's take a look at week two. This is where we're going to be working first. So in week two, you can see we need to insert some images and we need to type some text. So to insert an image, you're going to click and it will bring up this bar and you click the arrow until you see replace. So I'm going to replace from my photos and I'm gonna choose one of my images here. Sa second one, same thing, replace from photos and the second one. Um, now, if I, if I have them in the wrong place, I can touch them and I can move them around so I can change them if I need to. But if you put them in in the right order, then they should just be in the right place. Um, you can change their sizes, but you shouldn't need to do that because they should be the right size. Um, now you have to just com complete all five of those for each week. At the bottom where you want to type in your text, just double tap and your keyboard will come up. Um, on Thursday, we have a grammar test. That's not really true. This is just an example. So I typed in here. You can see it's there in the box. I can change the size and font and things by doing select. Uh, I can change the color. I can change it to be bold or italics. These are the way that you use these editing features here. Um, you can also add things up here with the plus button. You can add comments, text, images, shapes, lines. Those are not helpful on this page, but they'll be helpful on the next page. I'll show you that in just a moment. So now we've got this page kind of taken care of, and let's go look at the next page. Here on this page, we have some places we need to add text. We have a place that we need to put an image, and we have two places where we need to make some circles or squares or something. This week I'm going to focus on, and I'm gonna choose grammar, but I need to show my teacher that. So I can do plus, I can choose shape, I can choose, mm, let's do this. And I don't want it to be gray, I want it to be invisible in the middle, so no color. And I want to change it to, um, a thicker line so that it's easier to see. There we go. So I can change the size with the little handles. And now you can see on the page, it's clear that I have marked grammar. And I can do the same thing down here at the bottom where I need to choose these. You can choose circles or squares, however you want to show your teacher that that's what you have chosen. Um, here, same thing for typing, just like we did before. Here for insert an image, just like we did before as well, just choose replace and go find the photo that you need. If you make a mistake while you're working, all you need to do is hit the back arrow and it will do undo and redo if you want to make it come back. So those two arrows are really important. They keep you from making mistakes. You're not going to ruin anything. Um, you, if you make a mistake, it's okay uh, because there's always that back arrow. 
If you have questions, you can ask your teacher, but it's not too difficult. You're just going to keep working through the, the portfolio each week, and every week you'll have a new five pages to work on. That's it. Thank you.